Reem is having troubles walking because he is in a veterinarian diagnosed laminitic foundry condition. Note his tense body, reluctant to move forward, and sad demeanor. This video is after removing standard shoes and before applying my trim. The difference between the shoes on and removed are very slight. This radiograph of the front right hoof shows a coffin bone with an approximate 10 to 12 degree rotation. Note the tip of the coffin bone appears to be even with the shoe, masked behind the nails. In this position, the coffin bone can penetrate the sole. Following the distance from the coffin bone to the forward wall, it appears to be closer at the top than the bottom. Everything signals the coffin bone is out of its socket. The front left hoof shows the coffin bone with approximate 5 degree rotation from ground parallel. Note the distance of the front tip of the coffin bone, which is closest to the shoe, is again very close to the sole. Following the distance from the coffin bone to the front wall, it appears to be closer at the top than the bottom. Everything again signals the coffin bone is out of its socket. Dreamy's right front hoof is in a convex state. Instead of the hoof having concavity where the sole is inward of the outer wall, the sole here is flexed outward beyond the wall as if air was pumped into the hoof and it expanded. Also note, towards the front of the frog, you can see the coffin bone indentation, pushing on the sole, as seen in the previous radiograph. The left front hoof is also in a convex state. Again, instead of the hoof having concavity where the sole is inward of the outer wall, the sole here is flexed outward beyond the wall, as if air was pumped into the hoof and expanded. There is no sign of coffin bone indentation towards the front of the frog. Oh, very nice. Although still in pain and body sore, Creamy is moving freely with conviction after being trimmed. Oh no. Hi. <laughs> That's beautiful. And he's giving her attitude. He's got his ears back. <laughs> that's what you want. Yeah. Is that's why I said he has to have a buddy. The buddy is going to encourage him to move, or irritate him to move. And they. He's good she, at that. <laughs> She's and, female. Yeah, and the, it's in the small print. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that, because actually I did. Uh, one of my clients went out to go train their horse. And she said, well, the vet just left. My horse is totally lame and on its side. And I said, well, let me go look. And, you know, they had bored a hole. And I said, well, they missed where the abscess is. It was an abscess. So let's get the horse out with the other horses. She goes, oh, I don't want them picking on them. And I, we went ahead and took the horse out. And the horses just started biting on her. And she's screaming at the horse. I said, no, leave him alone. And they kept biting the horse, and the horse got up, walked over, and took a drink. I said, this horse hasn't drank for a while. How long has it been laying down? All day. I said, this horse just made it drink. And they quit. They left it alone. Here is Dreamy's right front hoof approximately two weeks later. Note the frog is now even with the outer wall, and the sole is also showing slight cavity inward. Much nicer. You can still see the coffin boned indentation pushing against the salt towards the front of the frog on the right front hoof. This is Dreamy's left front hoof showing more concavity with the frog well inward of the outer hoof wall. Dreamy is the one wearing the fly mask with his new shaped hooves shown prior. Note his movement is much freer with less body soreness and soul pain. Creamy is showing a great improvement in just two weeks from start. I'm sorry if you're getting a little seasick. It's hard to move an old horse and film at the same time. Note the frog on the front right hoof has dropped even more inward from the outer hoof wall than the other photos taken two weeks ago, showing even more concavity than before. The right front hoof is also displaying almost no coffin bone indentation against the sole, 
and is showing more concavity towards the front on the frog. This is a great improvement. This is Dreamy's front left hoof, showing the frog is also more inward from the outer hoof wall, creating more concavity in the hoof. More concavity means less sole pain. With his newly designed hoof shown prior, Dreamy is walking willingly with a long stride and no sign of pain in four weeks. Even better, not bad for an old horse, but he's not fully recovered. Help us in keeping our fingers crossed.